guys, it's Molly. I'm here to bring you a channeled reading. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm going to try something different. Yes, I'm going to try just doing, uh-huh, doing some vision, oracle work. We'll see what happens. Yeah, who's this reading for? Who is this for? Uh, you guys, so what that means, my name is Molly. I'm a clairaudient psychic empath. All right. And, all right. Um... And I'm channeling right now, so anything I say is part of your message. Oh my gosh, I just sat on my headphones. Did somebody sit on their headphones? That is so weird because, you guys, this has to do with the extreme overthinker. Yeah. Uh, I was, uh-huh, sitting, uh-huh, and I had to, uh, uh-huh, extremely overthink, Picking, 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 picking the last of this fingernail off, yes. And then I heard, I feel like shitting tonight. <laughs> yeah, somebody might take a shit. <laughs> right? uh, it's, I feel like chicken tonight, but I feel like shitting tonight. So, uh, yeah, all right, Aries. And then, okay, now I see uh, a, uh, uh -huh, a red picnic table cover on a picnic table outside at a park. Yep. And uh, somebody is grilling on the park grill. Chicken thighs and legs. Yep, I feel like shit in the night. Okay, all right. Uh, right. Somebody might be. <laughs> I don't know. Let's we'll just take it. We'll see where this goes. Somebody, I guess somebody may be constipated. Somebody may uh, have to open up. Yes. But they're feeling like they're chicken. Okay. Mm-hmm. There they are. Oh, no. Yep. Okay. All right. It is the extreme overthinker. All right. Okay. I wear my moonstone ring on this finger. Uh, this person uh, might be waiting for uh, the new moon in Leo. Okay. Uh, we did see Leo on the bottom of the deck. Okay, what happens with the new moon in Leo? Uh huh. Okay, three of swords. Okay. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. They have to rise like the zombie. Oh no, this person's been ghosting. They've been ghosting this person that they want to come forward and have this big thing with. They want to have a brand. They want to brand something. They have a really great idea. Uh huh. Uh huh. Rocking back inside my heart. Mm hmm. Do you remember a picnic by the lake? All right. Mm hmm. I want you rocking back inside my heart. I want you rocking back inside my heart. Okay. Are your disco chicken? Yeah. Okay. Uh huh. All right. So, this particular card for me, uh huh. This is Cancer, the Overthinker. Reading had a Cancer and a Pisces. Uh huh. Cancer and Pisces for Cancer and Pisces. Okay. Uh-huh. She's saying, I want you rocking back inside my heart. All right. Uh, when people put their arms out, uh-huh, she's putting her arms out. That's a sign for me, for somebody rushing forward, saying, so very sorry. I'm so very sorry uh -huh, about the broken heart. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. <clears throat> All right, what happens after that? Mm -hmm. Okay. She says, oh, I'm so very sorry. <gasps> and then the lovers. Mm -hmm. Yes, 
Okay, weird things happen in Twin Peaks, yes, okay. This is a very weird divine spiritual connection between these two. They both understand it and feel it. All right. Okay, final. I want you rocking back inside my heart. Somebody may be going to a therapist. Uh, somebody may be figuring out, uh-huh, uh-huh, uh, yeah, something about the cutest little doodle in Poodle Land, yep, there's a dog groomer right there, uh-huh, okay, I want you rocking back inside my heart, all right, it is an earth angel. They've read all about it. They understand it now. All right. Right now, where I'm sitting, he's looking at that. Okay. So this person may be working on, uh huh, with a therapist for a long time on why they turn down uh, offers, opportunities, things. Yep. Mm hmm. Uh, they may have had some inner child wounding, something that uh, they are working on. They're starting to figure out what it is. Yes. And since they are working on it and doing the work, they're starting to feel this Ace of Cups. Always buy them. They can't let it go because it's her. Yes, there she is. Uh-huh. The cutest little doodle in Poodle Land. All right. That's when her hair was really short. Okay, somebody may have cut their hair. Uh huh. Okay. This masculine makes us feminine. Mm hmm. Feel young and fun. All right. Now it's Tom Waits and Crystal Gale. Okay, he wants to come home to his silly love. Uh-huh. Take me home, you silly boy. Put your arms around me. Take me home, you silly boy. All right, you may think about this a lot, all the time, constantly think about it, all right? This person may lay on their couch. They may read a book. They may lay on the couch and read books. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, let's read the story. All right. Put your arms around me, take me home, you silly boy, cause I'm still in love with you. All right, uh, okay, I'm mixing both their parts together, yes. All right, this masculine is realizing, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. There is a past life connection with these people, all right? She may be somewhere she doesn't want to be. Yep, so she hangs the disco chicken. Uh, will hang the disco ball up in the barn. The disco chicken wants to dance disco. Yes, but it's stuck in a barn, so it hangs the disco ball up in the barn. Mm-hmm, and disco dances in the barn, yeah. Uh, so this kind of person doesn't let themselves... Uh, Lose out on all their hopes and dreams. They still make it happen. Even if it has to happen in the barn, it's still disco dancing. Uh-huh. He likes that. That's That inspires him. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. He's never met anyone like Crystal Gale. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. 
He's only met hurricanes, never a crystal gale. Oh, yes. All right, so this masculine, uh-huh. May have had some dramatic past things. Yeah. And she's totally different. Yeah, the disco chicken. Oh. He's pretty obsessed with her. Yeah. Uh, he may want to, he may be constantly thinking about marrying her. He may be constantly thinking about going into business with this person, putting a brand on it, getting a tattoo. Uh huh. Well, they have all sorts of ideas, creative ideas that, uh huh, that's keeping this fire burning. Yeah. Uh huh. He's feeling, um, he's just been hanging out in the background, just feeling like, uh, inspired awakened uh-huh and he's feeling like he needs to act now he needs to strike where the iron is hot something is happening which is getting him all worked up the panic monster is starting to creep in uh-huh it's time to put his name on it his brand on it it's time to make this happen yeah okay Put your arms around me. All right. This masculine may have been holding back. He may have been, uh, he may have been playing possum. He may have uh, uh -huh, been playing dead, uh -huh. but this person is a true romantic at heart, yeah. They've had some serious heart wounds, uh -huh. and they knew if they held her hand, yeah, their heart would be open again to past, uh-huh. Has things that happen with the hurricane. Yeah. But the owl is showing this person. She's not a hurricane. She's a crystal gale. Yeah. Uh-huh. True love blew in. Mm-hmm. With the summer wind. Yes. And now he wants to hold her red right hand. Oh, there's that other reading. Uh-huh. He's coming to hold mm -hmm, the red right hand. There it is. A major part of both these people people's journey, yes, uh-huh, was to make the move to hold a new hand after this. Uh, spirit may have brought a true connection together. The lovers, the cosmic connection, the person. Uh-huh. That you have this hardcore cord with because this relationship mm -hmm. is a destined relationship. This is your spiritual and cosmic connection. Uh, both of these people may be star seeds. They may have felt uh, this ache in their heart that could never get filled, this constant yearning, needing to go home. Uh, Mm-hmm. Uh, and these two uh, are going to see if they can take each other home. Okay. They may have been activated. There may be a divine purpose that's coming into play now for these two. I see both of the lights. Like, see both of the lights? These, these people are like illuminated they're glowing they're enlightened uh they they're light workers that's that's their divine purpose it's crystal gale and tom waits all right so the masculine may have been waiting for quite a long time for their heart to heal okay now see this okay uh somebody uh, one of these two people Somebody may, I didn't see it as like, uh, like drug use, 
Uh, somebody may take like insulin or hormones or something where they have to get a shot or got a, uh, a vaccination. And the other day, I felt, uh-huh, a total needle in my left thigh, yes. And it felt like, in my head, it felt like I was supposed to experience what this giant uh, shot needle felt like. Mm-hmm. And I thought, and it, I was like, ouch! Mm-hmm. So spirit may be uh, showing these people, they may be feeling uh, experiences of other people, something like that. But I felt it in my leg, in my left thigh. It was uh, quite interesting. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, Aries, there's your message for today. Uh, we'll see if that resonates with anybody. Uh, I'll watch this back. And Spirit will throw out some buzzwords for me. And there we go. And uh, I'll do a little search in my past readings, yes. And we have to do it this way. All right. And uh, little stories will pop up when I type in that word. I'll put the word in parentheses if you want to see the process. Sometimes I have to delete a couple letters off the end of the word before a story will pop up. And I'll put that after the thing. You can figure it out. Yeah. So there may be additional messages for you down in the comments. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Crystal Gale opened up Tom Waits' heart chakra. Yeah. Okay. Uh-huh. The disco chicken radiates light. Yes. This is a high priestess. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Okay. Now I'm supposed to look at. Let me find. Mm-hmm. Hmm. hmm. There, yeah, there it is. Mm-hmm. The hierophant. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. And I see, uh-huh, the best flight attendant in the history of all flight attendants. This video I just saw, yes, uh-huh. She was getting out of control, so the best flight attendant in the history of all flight attendants came, uh-huh. All right, panic monster might be really freaking out right now for somebody, yes, because this is a deep spiritual connection, all right. Pyramid may have something. I hear Luxor. Okay. Mm hmm. All right. The lid's been taken off. The sarcophagus. Yes. All right. Somebody's been activated. All right. This is, uh huh, a divine connection. The masculine is feeling like they need to take control of the situation. Yep, their panic monster is freaking out. All right. Somebody may get on an airplane. Somebody may. Uh, need to travel to somebody. And he's trying to figure out how to do it. Uh huh. The high friend is having him feel this pull. Uh huh. From her. Yeah. From Crystal Gale. All right. There you go, Aries. Uh, I'll find all those videos uh, and all that and put it down in the comments. Uh, feel free to watch as many as you feel called to and uh, you may find some more messages there. If you hit like and subscribe, it helps me, it helps the channel, helps more messages get out. It's a free way you can pass it on, do some light work, yeah. Uh, and if you want to cruise my Etsy shop, there's a link right in the description. Alright, peace out, bye-bye.